it's Kiara Renee and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me and this is just going to be you know us talking and letting you guys in on what my plans are after college what I'm doing what's life about to look like what I'm going through mentally you know just all those different things so if you want to get updated about me make sure you continue to watch this video i'm going to be doing my makeup i'm not really going to be doing a tutorial if y'all end up liking the look i do i can redo the look and give y'all a tutorial on it um and yeah so let's get started as you know we are in quarantine so like the second part of my year has kind of been oh i'm supposed to be doing makeup give me a second okay so the second part of my um college experience was kind of change to online in a drastic way so i was kind of forced to basically spend my senior year alone but not really alone but basically alone um my graduation they did a virtual graduation so lame but we do have the opportunity to walk in the next i guess official graduation so i thought at least that was a decent option considering all that's going on because you know so many people feel like wow this really ruined my senior year and so i feel like it's a good thing that they were able to give us the opportunity to walk um in the next ceremony and everything so that way so at least you feel like wow this four years is all for nothing i've worked so hard for this great moment and then you can't even experience it which is sucks i did end up taking some grad pictures so if you go to my instagram you can see my grad pictures they came out really really nice i'm thinking about posting more because i have different outfits but i'm not sure what i want to do just yet um what else is going on um school is over so that means i'm moving back home I've talked about this a little bit in my other video about how much I'm dreading going home. Um, being, you know, back in my parents' house and a different space. And you know, it's every college kid's goal too. So it's every college kid's goal to just, you know, go, not go back home after graduating, unless you plan on going to grad school or whatever, but you don't want to go home. You don't want to be jobless. You don't want to be, ill prepared and feel like i don't know it's, it's a transition process that's really what it is it's it's a very big transition process and i've always told myself i wasn't going back home after college i was i was going to have this job i was going to transition perfectly this is what i've worked hard for i'm not going to be jobless like a lot of people are or i'm not going to go into my field like a lot of people do because a lot of people definitely don't go into the field that they necessarily signed up for which you know happens i'm not saying that it's a bad thing or anything but sometimes people realize that their degree that they got isn't necessarily what they want either so you have to keep different things in mind um but finding a job is hard especially during the pandemic a lot of my um, interview processes have been put on pause and it's like dang we're definitely about to go into a recession definitely 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 so it's like just being prepared for different things and financial stability I know a lot of people had to even me I had to decide what salary price will be reasonable during this time to look for and to want to get you know like i still want my coin you know i worked hard i deserve my coin i want to be making a certain amount of money however less money is better than no money so i had to keep that in mind when i was you know trying to find a job losing a job because you know i was in retail stores are closed so my job is basically obsolete so and i haven't worked in months and i'm the type of person i do not like asking my parents for money especially because it's just like it's not like oh i don't feel like i owe my parents or i you know like oh i have to give it back but 
somebody having the ability to tell me no irritates me. Oh, I want this. Oh, I'm used to shopping. Oh, I'm used to getting one. one. Oh, I need gas. Oh, I need groceries. Oh, I want to do this. Oh, I want to go out to eat. Oh, I want Chipotle. Can't even afford it. And it's like, ooh, not, not used to. I feel like I'm not really used to. And it's like, ooh, I need a job like tomorrow. And the job searches aren't getting easier. A lot of companies are holding their processes. People are getting let go. It's, it's a lot going on. And I, I applied to like a lot of different companies. I did have, you know, some specifications on what I wanted when I was looking for a job. I knew I wanted to be with a Fortune 500 company. I feel like Fortune 500 companies, they do pay more. That's one thing that they do. They are more stable because they're so successful. I wanted a company that would have longevity, been around for a while, not necessarily wanting to be a part of a startup company. Um, not saying that startups aren't bad, aren't good. They honestly give you the most room for creative expression and innovation. However, did you, I said something about a coin earlier, so just letting y'all know I want the coin. Um, so by doing this, you know, the interview processes have become so much harder and so much um more difficult they they are you now have to go against the best of the best and now people who didn't see themselves interviewing for certain jobs or wanting certain jobs or are overqualified for certain jobs are going after entry-level jobs which the new generation and newly um graduates are trying to get so it's like ooh, i just went on an interview y'all and when I say everybody had their master's, I was like, yeah, I'm gra I just graduated with my master's. And it's like discouraging. It's like, oh my gosh, they have experience. Oh my gosh, they look better on paper. So you have to really, really go hard and be better in person. You have to bring out that personality. You, It's not a time to cower away because and psych yourself out about, who am I good enough? This is not the time to doubt yourself. This is the time to zone in, go in, go hard, and just believe in yourself, really work on yourself, really, you know, you know what I mean? Really go hard and not let this time discourage you, but use it as open opportunity to um, experience stuff and try it like testers. So you can go on a couple interviews just to fill it out, see how the interview process is, and, you know, get comfortable. Go out for a lot of companies, get a lot of offers, you know. Um, this is also the time where I had to reconsider a lot when it came to where I wanted to be. I know I was like, oh my gosh, I really want to be in Texas. Oh my gosh, I really want to be in Texas. Oh my gosh, I really want to be in Texas. Like... I was really going hard for Texas, like Texas, Atlanta, um, Charlotte kind of, but not really. Like I was open to go anywhere. I was really flexible about location, but now that this pandemic is going on, I realize I don't want to be 14 hours away from my family during a pandemic, during a crisis and completely alone by myself. I feel like that's just not smart at this time. If it was any of like if it was normal life as usual, I would have been gang ho, peace. I see you when I see you, see Christmas, you know, but <laughs> it's just not realistic right now. Ooh, how did that turn out? Y'all like that? I'm going for a certain look. I'm using the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. You know, um, I've really been loving that palette. I've been picking it up a lot lately, just trying different looks out from it. This was the Morphe 35OS palette. 
so I like the way I, my eyes look right now I'm about to go in with something else now what was I talking about so I think it's very important that we get our lives together when it comes to setting your priorities for your career and you know figuring out what you want to do after college I should have I can't say I should have started earlier because I really was working all year um, on it if you go back on my channel you'll see job search career fair and things like that and I found that the best way is just applying firsthand with these companies and um, seeing what happens and I have gotten an offer to a company I'm not gonna say what company I'm gonna be working for just yet because I do have some applications still out there and you know I want to pick the best one I don't want to just make a decision because oh I finally got an offer which is amazing so I am gonna accept but you know you can accept and then choose not to later the location is close to home it's not an area that I am familiar with but it's an area I know of and I can either live you know in Raleigh Durham I can even live in Greensboro if I wanted to I do not you know I really want to create a life near my job for a, at least as long as I keep the job you know because that just makes the most sense to me. And now that, you know, I am going to be moving, the real adulting is about to start. And when I say real adulting, I mean like moving out of my parents' house is going to be coming in the next couple of months. I'm going to have to apartment shop, get my own pots and pans, my own furniture, couch shopping. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for that. Decorating my apartment. Um, I'm going to have to find an apartment that I feel safe with. You know, um, I'm probably, most likely, most definitely going to be living by myself. So I need to, security measures things of that nature I really need to take into account when living alone especially as a woman and especially as much just as small as me I just need to be prepared for anything everything and there's certain amenities I want there's I have an idea of how I want my life to be I know I want fitness to be a part of my life should I get an apartment with the gym in it should I get a membership should I get a personal trainer like what should I do um what should I decorate my apartment as because y'all know my room is teal black and gold should I retire to teal like am I too old for teal like when are you too old to have like a teenage style room because I do want my next room to be grown and sexy but I don't want to miss out on just you know like I don't want to get like oh a white comforter and white pillows and knowing I'm gonna eat in my bed knowing like you know what I'm saying like I just I y'all that would be a such a process I'm, I'm just thinking about it now like wow I have planning to do on what I want my apartment to look like what I want my living room to look like kitchen how often am I gonna be cooking um what's my like work life balance gonna be because I'm gonna be working 40 hours a week school I, you was lucky if I was at, in school for two hours a day. Sometimes I had one class, sometimes I had two, sometimes I had three. Like, it was like, but I never had an eight hour day at school. Outside of school, I could do my work on my own time. I don't think my job is gonna be that flexible. I think it's gonna be like an eight to five. Y'all, I'm gonna have to wake up early as crap. <laughs> Am I gonna be cute? Like, Maybe I can get y'all some like business, casual, business, professional lookbooks if you guys want that. I should be doing my makeup. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. Um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Okay, 
I'm gonna blend this out and then I'm gonna be back so I can continue talking. I ended up doing my whole foundation routine if y'all wanna see my foundation routine. Even though I've done some things different, there's a video. Go watch it. Um what was that? Oh, apartment honey. I was talking about decorating my apartment and all the things I need to do. And it's like, wow, that's gonna cost money. And I need to find me a little quick little job. I might need to start doing DoorDash or something because y'all know my apartment gotta be glam. And, ooh, 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 okay. And it's just like really time for adulting. And it's like, after this point, I don't want to need any financial support from my parents ever again. I don't want to be that type to go back home or to, even though I know they're there for, not necessarily there for that, they're, they're willing to help me. I just don't want the help personally. Oh, I'm about to look like a ghost, but y'all know it's gonna look right at the end. And after being so like supported by my parents, like I had more than enough, I had extra and they've done their part and now it's low-key time for me to start giving back a little bit and helping them even though they're not gonna need help like i don't i don't know you know how you feel like oh your parents don't need help they have it all together that's low-key how i feel but i know better i know better than that you know what i'm saying like they I'm sure there's some wants and needs that they have and want and have put aside because of, you know, I'm not the only child. So because of taking care of not only me, only me, but my sister and, you know, family, like I'm sure my parents take care of, you know, their parents and their sisters and brothers and, you know, are always there to help each other as a family. So I don't know what my parents spend their money on but I want them to be able to spend their money a little bit more on them. You know what I'm saying? One less worry they have to worry about, basically, is what I'm trying to get at. Oh, I need to spray my face. I look like a ghost. This air spun powder is good. You know, it doesn't give flashback, but this ghost look it be giving me is not smooth. Y'all, I've been loving this setting spray. This is the Maybelline Lasting Fix 16 Hour Matte Finish Setting Spray. It is so nice. Like, and you know I was all about the Sports Fix um, by Makeup Revolution. But honestly, I don't know what the difference is. But I feel like this really mats my face. And I also don't know if it's possibly like the air spun powder that's doing it as well. I'm not sure, but it's something because my makeup has been coming out really nice lately. And I really want to talk about adulting in its full form, maybe in another video, but like I know this is going to be a transition for me completely like you know i want to trans like i just want to you know i'm already paying my own car insurance and everything like that but i really want to in car insurance you know my job comes with benefits so i'm going to have my own health insurance i'm going to have um renter's insurance with my apartment because you know i want everything that i own to be protected this is also the time to you know start my own portfolio my own portfolio <sighs> what am i doing what am i doing what am i doing what am i doing i feel like in this next stage of my life i feel like you know it's just gonna be a whole bunch of growth that I'm gonna see, like it's gonna be a visual 
transition that not only I can see, but hopefully others can see the growth and the change that is going to be happening with me in the next couple of months. Um, and just my mindset, like I can't do the frivolous spending that, you know, I've been doing in the past because like I always saw the money that I make as extra because my bills and other things are taken care of like groceries and gas are and my phone bill are really my only two two bills and half the time I don't even pay my phone bill because my parents will pay it so it's like I'm getting makeup all over this thing but who knows what the future holds honestly I can just plan the best I can but you know what they say when you make plans God tends to laugh at you so I'm not gonna set anything in stone For real. um what else This is also a weird transition because usually, you know, you've been in school your whole life. So now that I'm not going necessarily back to school at all, like I'm going to a job, like it's not, oh, this is summer. Even though I was working summer, like I did my internship. So I was working 40 hours a week, but I was like, oh, I can't wait to go back to school. I'm tired of doing this. And it's like work does not stop. Like you don't get a summer with work. You get a vacation, but you might not even get that much vacation time. You know, so, ooh, just thinking about that now, Lord. I literally have to, like, with school, you know how, like, I'm not saying I did this a lot, but, like, you could decide not to go to class. Like, mm, this is stupid. Oh, class would get canceled. <sighs> oh, this is going to be a, oh, this is going to be a hard transition. Like, sometimes you don't be in a room with people, mental health days, the whole nine yards, you know? highlighter so this transition is about to be different like oh my gosh that's that's gonna having to do something every single day like every single day the same thing this is your job until obviously you get hired or something else happens you know, like this is like, but this is like your main thing. Ugh, it sounds so terrible. Not that it sounds terrible, but it sounds terrible. Like, and I've, I'm also one of those people, I don't like working for people necessarily. Like, I don't think I will end up being working for a company for more than five, six years before i'm either starting my own company starting my own business investing i'm going to be doing along the way but like investing or real estate or something something else has to has to fill my time because i just feel like why spend so much time and energy building up somebody else's company when you can build up your own Y'all ever thought about that? If you worked as hard as you were working 40 hours a week for somebody else, you know how far you can get with yourself 40 hours a week? So that's what I'm also taking this quarantine for. I'm taking this quarantine for content, filming videos, pushing out stuff, planning, setting up websites, setting up whatever I feel like I could do in this time and really not stressing too much about taking a break because be taking a break I will be I need a break I need to sit back and figure out what I really want you know so ooh, y'all I'm gonna go find sorry I keep looking this way because I can't see myself so I low-key just did my whole face without a mirror came out pretty decent how y'all like it y'all like it 
But I'm going to be back when I do my liner, my lashes. I'm going to take off this scarf. I'm going to give y'all the final look. So y'all stay tuned for that. And I'll be right back. Hey, y'all. I'm back. This is the final look. You know, I wanted to come back and show y'all what I look like at the end. Um, thank you for watching my video, catching up on me. You know, just me expressing myself, how I'm feeling, how I'm transitioning into the next part of my life. The things I gotta do. So if y'all wanna come along with me in this journey, let me know what type of videos y'all wanna see. If y'all wanna see apartment hunting, if y'all want me to start vlogging, I think I am gonna start vlogging. So, well, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna see how that ends up. But um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you can relate, if you just graduated. Um, Follow me on my social medias, um, Kiera underscore Renee on Instagram, Kiera underscore Renee with three E's on Twitter. I'm going to try to get into Twitter. I'm going to try to get into social media. Um, Kiera underscore Reed on Snapchat. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.